Russo'sBrand.com, where the pros are the pros. Uh, Jeff, what do you got for our news-wise? Well, Tony Khan did an interview with TV Insider, and they asked him about Darby Allen's spot through the glass. They said, or they asked, what is the line between talent with what they want to do and what you'll allow them to do? How do you look at risky moves such as that one? And Tony answered, it has to be something safe. Whenever a wrestler comes in and wants to try something, especially dangerous, I just want to know that there is a safe way to do it. Darby Allen, every time he has ever had an idea for a wild high spot or a crazy move, he has had a rationale and plan. Darby doesn't take these things lightly. Nobody would have would have attempted the amount of crazy, wild, death-defying stunts Darby has done in his tenure and made it this far unless they are a methodical, organized planner. In Darby's case, he is fanatical about finding a way to pull off the impossible and do these incredible, seemingly death-defying stunts. He always finds a safe way to pull them off. He always has a rationale for why he is able to do it. That's what impresses me, the way Darby plans his matches and his biggest moves. I don't see where there's a safe way to do some of this stuff. Well, yeah, I mean, just talk, just talk about the ladder glass concrete sp- spot, Al. Like, how, do, how, 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 how can you possibly do that and guarantee your own safety? I don't know. Because, again, there is, no matter what, whether, you know, what, you just go in and have a regular wrestling match. Uh, let's take out, you know, some of the more stuff that we've seen recently, just a regular wrestling match. There is the potential risk, private life altering or, or life ending injury. It's going, you know, it's there. It's always present as you do certain activities in that match, though, that risk goes up exponentially diving off a 20 foot high ladder, uh, onto a piece of plate glass and then the concrete itself, there's no padding. There's no, there's nothing there to break the fall, you know, uh, the potential for uh, a, a life altering injury is very high. The fact that it didn't happen, thank God, you know, but to, to say that, uh, you know, um, he could do it safely, not to mention, I don't care what anybody says, you know, I know Meltzer had made a comment about, you know, somebody talking about Darby and that, you know, the, the risks that he's taking and the abuse he's taking that he's not going to be able to walk. Like, Oh, look at Cactus Jack, you know, look at this guy look at that guy. They said he'd have to be in a wheelchair by such and such. And yeah, he's not getting around very well right now, but he's 50 something. Uh, Yeah. But he wasn't, he hasn't been getting around very well for the last 20 years, Mm -hmm. not just the last year or two, you know, that, that damage it may, it may not prevent you to do things now, but you're going to pay a toll. You're, it's going to come and you're, you're going to, it's going to come back on you. you know, but you know, that won't happen for another 10, 15, 20. Well, okay. But that's, that makes it all right. Well, a lot of people are 60 years old. Like I am right now. I'm sure you can attest to this too. It's not like you wake up every day in a in, in pain. I do from just the stuff I did, you know, every day I have to deal with it to some degree or another. So I know the price that has to be paid and I know that they will be paying it, especially as they continue to do uh, this. It's more, uh, no better term than stunt wrestling. You know, we're not doing it in the fashion of, of telling a story. We're not doing it in the fashion of trying to sell a competition. We're doing it for just that brief, oh my God, holy shit reaction. And as long as we're doing it for that, it's simply stunt wrestling. Yeah, That's all I, it is. I mean, my God, you're talking about, he saw you, Al, you and I both know when, when there was something outside of the bounds what did Vince McMahon do? He did the stunt himself. He yeah, did he it did. himself. Well, I, yeah. I, I saw this with my own two eyes. Bro, this guy's going through from a 20-foot ladder through a piece of plate glass. You mean to tell me that you know without a shadow of a doubt that a piece of glass is not going to puncture your skin and, like, go right in your kidney or your spleen or your – how 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 the hell – 
can can something like like that possibly be safe when it's so freaking unpredictable? Yeah, and and again, it was bad business. Whose night was it? Yeah, we know Stinks. Sting. Yep. Yeah. Well, then why are you allowing this kid to go and literally steal the spotlight and go into business for himself during Sting's moment? It's Sting's last match, not Darby Allen's. Uh, you know, and if for no other reason, hey, if the kid wants to, you know, stuff a Roman candle up his ass and run around the ring screaming, yippee, 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 while it goes off, go ahead. But explain to me how it was warranted and it was necessary that on during Sting's moment, his last match, you allowed this young guy to go out there and literally steal that moment away to where we're now only talking about. Darby Allen, you know, it was the same as that night with, uh, Shane going off the top of the cage, you know, when we were wanting to try and, uh, get over Roman Reigns and all we talked about after that WrestleMania was Shane going off the cage, went into business for himself. Yeah. Bad business, you know, injury is, uh, injuries aside, uh, potential injuries aside, you cannot in any manner justify that to me. And if you would have actually been in the real wrestling business, as some would say, you wouldn't applaud or, or reward that and say it was great when it quite honestly was irresponsible as far as the safety of the performer. It was irresponsible as far as the safety of the audience who now potentially have lawsuits, regardless of whether or not they ran a video. Um, and it was, it was bad business because, and Sting should be insulted. You know, this was his, this was his moment, his last match. Ah, we'll give Darby Allen the spotlight. Oh, okay. Yeah. That again, makes sense. again, how a lot of this, we talked about it, man. He had what, one word, freaking respect. Yeah. Respect, yeah. bro. Like, but re- you know, that nobody teaches these guys no. yeah. that, that, you know, that you, you don't go into business for yourself. There's a time and a place. All the audience that tuned in that night, the audience that bought a ticket that night, all bought it for one person, for Sting, to see his last match, see him have his moment, and then you you allow another performer to go out and steal it away in the same match, not even on the same show, in the same match. Yeah. What's up, Brand? This is Jeff Lane inviting you to come hang out with me over on Twitch. I'm live several nights a week playing games classic and new, currently going through Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, the new Contra game, and more. So check me out, Jeff Lane 22 on Twitch. Mike Durban was on here, and he was talking about the Conan Major Bendy's action figure. This You got one too, don't you, Vince? Yeah. The, the, these are high quality. Like, the high quality packaging, high quality art, high quality figure. Yeah, very nice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but Durban wasn't kidding, guys. These, these are real high quality. So uh, you can even get these autographed. MikeDurban.com. Check them out before they're gone. 